Well, welcome once again, friends, to First Baptist Church Grand Cayman. I'm delighted you're joining us for our daily devotions in and around the Book of Numbers. And those of you who've joined us the last few mornings will know we're slowly orientating our way around the book so we get a bit of context for what we'll be looking at over these next days and maybe weeks. And so as we turn today to the Book of Numbers, I want to come at it at a very odd angle. Indeed, I can't ever remember giving a thought for the day in this way before. Uh, the well-known Amazing Grace is often viewed as the unofficial anthem of the United States of America. I wonder whether you know what is viewed as the unofficial national anthem of that great nation of Wales. Well, I suspect some of you are nodding your heads in agreement. It's uh, William Williams' 18th century hymn Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. And it was set to music uh, in 1904, 1905 uh, by a John Hughes. And the name of the music that it's often sung to today is Cumronda, which is a valley in Wales. It's sometimes called not Guide me, O thou great Jehovah or great Redeemer. It's called Bread of Heaven. And if you ever attend a major sporting event, like a rugby match in, in Wales, you will hear thousands of voices joining in, guide me, O oh, thou great Jehovah, singing away, without maybe any idea about this particular hymn and its background. Interestingly, it was written, as I say, in the 18th century by William Williams, who was a, a, a preacher in the days of John Wesley and George Whitfield, etc., up and down Wales, and a great hymn writer as well. And uh, interestingly, when the music was written, that was a period of great revival in Wales around 1904, 1905. But more to the point, if you go through that great hymn, you will find that it assumes a good deal of biblical knowledge and specifically from the book of Numbers. Let me remind you of some of the words, guide me, O thou great Jehovah. That's the old translation of the one that modern versions will use as Lord or Yahweh, the great I am. And then it talks about pilgrim through this barren land. And that's the truth of Numbers. Here are pilgrims going through a desert. And then it talks about I am weak. And as you go through Numbers, you find how very weak the people of God were. But thou art mighty, O oh, the inexhaustible God. Guide me with thy powerful hand. And God's hand is mighty. There's nothing too hard for him. And then it says, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me now and evermore. And in this wonderful book of Numbers, we find the people of God being sustained with bread from heaven, elsewhere called angels food. They were supernaturally sustained all their journey through. And then it goes on to talk about, open thou the crystal fountain whence the healing streams doth flow. Later on, Moses strikes the rock and out comes the water to sustain them. Well, God gives us in Jesus Christ the water of life. Jesus said, if anyone's thirsty, let him or her come to me and drink. And then it talks about, may the fiery, cloudy pillar lead me all my journey through. And again, book of Numbers, the fiery, cloudy presence of God. And then it talks about, be thou still my strength and shield. We are weak, but God is strong and he protects his own. And then it goes to talk about when I tread the verge of Jordan, taken here as an image of death. May my anxious fears subside, death of death and hell's destruction, land me safe on Canaan's side. And ends with those songs of praises, songs of praises, I will ever give to thee. You see, this great hymn, presupposes that you know the book of Numbers. And when you know the great hymn, then you'll know quite a bit about the book of Numbers. And I trust that you will join us in coming mornings 
as we sing the songs of praises in our hearts to our great God and learn how to serve him who is our strength and our shield now and always in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.